I'm Tom Merritt for Tech Republic. Here are five things to know about the Pluton security chip. Intel's trusted platform module has been good at improving security by creating a secure enclave for things like encryption keys. But, as you may have heard, it has had a few flaws. And now it has a successor. Here are five things to know about Microsoft's Pluton security processor. Number one, Pluton won't melt down, or Spectre. It has built-in defenses against both of those side channel attacks because it's isolated from the rest of the system. It even has defenses to thwart future spin-offs of those kinds of attacks. The keys never leave the Pluton security boundary. Coming in at number two, Pluton is hard to attack physically too. It's integrated into the CPU die, so there's nowhere for an attacker to solder leads into. There's no bus to attack. Up to number three, it has its roots in the good old Xbox. Microsoft first developed an integrated security chip in cooperation with AMD back in 2013. They brought that over to Azure Sphere devices and in November 2020 announced Pluton for PCs. Sliding in at number four, it plays nice with other security platforms. Pluton can provide a secure identity for the CPU itself that complements security platforms, including the Open Compute Project's Project Kerberos, to enable root of trust and firmware authentication. At number five, it may be off in your laptop. Lenovo shipped its first ThinkPads with Pluton turned off. So just because Pluton is in your CPU doesn't mean it's active. You may need to enable it yourself. Lenovo says they did this because enterprise customers wanted to test it before they turned it on for their workforce. AMD and Qualcomm are making chips with Pluton in them and Intel says it's working on it. So it should be easy to find a machine with Pluton if you want it. Hey, there's more where that came from, too. Check out our other videos and articles at techrepublic.com. I'll see you there.